Hello everyone, Sharif Abouzid here with a new video. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can set up a simple sales funnel using WordPress to sell your digital products. I know that when people speak about the concept of a sales funnel, some of them make this seem like a very complicated process uh, that includes upsells, downsells, checkout pages, order bumps. However, you can just start out with a very simple a sales funnel that includes only three pages, which are the landing page, the checkout page, and the thank you page. And in the future, you can definitely upgrade this sales funnel to include upsells and downsells. And also some of them will tell you that you need to buy expensive software to set up these types of sales funnels. But with WordPress, there are a few free WordPress plugins that you can use to set up whether uh, simple or, or advanced uh, sales funnels and my job in this video is to show you how you can set up a simple uh, sales funnel using free word a free wordpress plugin that will help you set up your landing page checkout page with an order bump and a thank you page and you can use you can use this simple sales funnel to sell so many uh, types of digital products for example you can use this sales funnel to sell your ebook workshop, online course, or even a membership. So without any further delays, let me show you how you can set up this sales funnel using a free WordPress plugin. So actually we need to be using two plugins. The first plugin is the WooCommerce plugin and the second plugin is the WB Funnels plugin. Now the job of the WooCommerce plugin is to set up our payment processing gateways, whether you need to set up like Stripe or use Stripe or PayPal to sell, uh, to, uh, to ask people to pay you, or uh, also we need to uh, set up our products, which are the ebook or the online course that we need to sell to our customers. So all we need to do first uh, for WooCommerce, all we need to do is to go to the WooCommerce settings here, and then we need to set up our payment gateway under the payments tab here. You need to choose whether you want to uh, activate or connect Stripe or PayPal. But for to make this a quick video for you, I'll be choosing the cash on delivery payment just to make this a quick video for you then we need to set up our products which are our uh, which are our it can be like our uh, ebook or online course and we can do this by going to the products tab and then click add new and here we need to add our product name price and image as well i have already proceeded and created two products which are an ebook and a checklist i'll be using my ebook product as my main product that i want to sell to the people who go through my sales funnel and for the checklist i'll be using this as my order bump to increase the average order value and to ask people to pay me more for my products once we do this now we can start using wb funnels so we need to go to wb funnels and then we go to first we need to go to the settings tab and here we need to choose which page builder that we are using now wb funnels comes with a number of templates um, designed with different page builders such as Elementor, Divi, Gutenberg and Oxygen. You need to choose which page builder that you are using. So instead of starting from scratch to build your sales funnel, you can definitely start using or start with using one of their uh, um, uh, templates built with any of these page builders. And once we are done with this, now we are done with the settings. Now we can start setting up our first Funnel. So let's go here and click create your first funnel. As you can see here, there is a number of templates categorized according to their um, type or category. And also some of them are free and some of them are premium. I'll be just choosing to or selecting to show the free ones. And these are great templates that we can start using. And they have been um, designed very well by the developers of WB Funnel. So let's we choose this one. And if you want to know the steps included, for each uh, of these sales funnel, you can just click the steps here, and this will give you an overview of the steps. As you can see, this uh, template includes a landing page, a checkout page, and a thank you page. So if you want to import this, you can just need to click import here and wait for this template to be imported. Let's give this a few seconds. Now it's important step number one, step number two, and step number three. And here we go. This is our template. As you can see, the template includes a, a, a landing page, a, a checkout page, and a thank you page. And this is the way that uh, WB Funnels work. Is you need just to connect the pages to each one. 
to um, know how the sequence of this sales funnel. Now, every step will include an overview of the page uh, and also a view here to uh, an icon here, an icon here to, view the, to view the step, an icon to edit the step, and also you can do A-B testing if you are using the premium version of WB Funnels. If you click here, you can just change the name of the step and also the URL. Now, for the uh, landing page, let's go and edit this. Of course, this has been designed using the Elementor page builder. You need to be familiar with uh, Elementor if you are using the templates of Elementor. Of course, you can change all of these. You can change the image, you can change the title, whatever you want. But the main thing that I want you to know inside this page is the this button. This button is not coming from Elementor. This button has been added or included into the widgets of Elementor, but it has been developed by the uh, developers of WB Funnels. If we click here, you'll find that this widget name is next step button. So this button has been added by WB Funnels developers. If you click here, you'll find that there is a next step button item uh, 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 type here. We You can choose what you want with this button. You want it to move to the next step or to go to a definite URL or another funnel. I will be using the next step because I want the people who click this button to be moved into the next step of the sales funnel, which is our checkout page. Once we make any changes here, we are done. You can just click update to update the design and the copy of your landing page. Now we are done with our landing page. If we go to the checkout page, you'll find that we have here an additional icon, which is the settings tab and also we have the icon to view the step the also the edited so the first step that we need to go is to go to our settings as you can see here there is an error message saying no product added and no order bump so we need to get rid of these messages by choosing our order bump product and also our main product so let's click the settings tab here and here this is with the slider here we can search for our products. Remember the products that we have added inside WooCommerce, we need to search for them here. And let me search for my ebook. So let's click here, search for ebook here. And then we need to click our, to add our product. If you want to make any type of discount for this sales funnel, maybe you are setting up this for the coming Christmas holidays or offers, or maybe for a Black Friday, you can choose uh, whether you want to have a discount as percentage or a flat amount. Let's say that if I want to have a percentage discount, I can choose to make this like 70% discounted. So now this ebook will be sold for almost like uh, $8, but I like for this sales funnel to keep it like an original price. So I'll choose the original price here. And then we are done with adding our main product. Let me click save changes here. And then we need to go to our order bump tab. And by the way, the order bump feature is included in the free version of WB Funnels. But some of the other sales funnels, uh, uh, WordPress plugin will give, will ask you to buy their premium version to be able to use the order bump feature. However, it is included for free inside the free version of WB Funnels. So let's click here to add an order bump. And this is our order bump. Let's click here. Here we have a few options here. The first one that you need to make sure they are checking it is to select your own product. Remember that I have added a checklist as my order bump. So I need to search for checklist, checklist. This is my checklist order bump. And here we need to, uh, now this checklist has been added. Of course, we can change the style. We have, I think almost 10. Let's go here. We have, we can change the style. We have almost 14 styles here for this order bump we can choose any one of these let's choose this one and we can choose let's choose the style number one i like this one here of course we can change all of these we can change the title here we can change the checklist this checklist let's say uh checklist order bump order bump product checklist let's say something like this and also we can change the wording here Let's say the change the wording. We can change the um, one special one time offer for let's say two nine nine, and we can make sure that we are changing this here. Let's add our 
um, US dollars here. Again, we can add a discount for this order bump. And the idea behind the order bump is to give your customers a huge discount for a current product. So let's say that I want to discount this like 70%, 70% off. Let's click here. And now we'll find that it is for $3. So let's choose this to be $3. And this is our order bump. Now when people click here, the this order bump will be added to our checkout uh, page. So let's click save settings or save changes. And now we have another tab called edit fields. Unfortunately, the free version of WB Funnels doesn't give you this for free. So we need, maybe you need to add an additional plugin such as customize uh, checkout fields to, to hide a few fields. For example, the company name, the address, you can just uh, hide this using another plugin, something like, I think it's called customize the checkout fields. Now we are done with this. So let's click here. Now let's go to, as you can see, the error message has disappeared. We can again we can go to the edit step icon here once you go here we'll find that again you can design whatever you want but the one that i'm like to to uh, show you is the checkout widget again if we click here and check look for the checkout you'll find this is the checkout button or widget added by wb funnels um, developers and if we try to edit it let's choose a one column you'll find that this is the preview of the checkout page or the checkout uh, section here. I like to use the two column checkout. Again, you can um, show and hide maybe the order bump. You know, if you don't want to show this, you can just disable it from here. But I like to show the order bump. You can style it to whatever you want. If you want to have like, if you want to add like payment section, you can design your the payment section to whatever you want. If you want to say that, I think we can design the order table section. Yes, if you want to change the background, you can change it from here. There are so many design options relevant to each uh, widget added by the WB developers team. I like to remove this part, so let me just remove it. And then I click update. Now I have my checkout page ready to go. Then we need to, we can go to the thank you page. Again, we can just click here. We can... Uh, uh, choose to show order overview details and some other um, options here again you'll find that if we go to the edit tab here again you'll find another widget added by the wb developers team this is the widget it's called order details if you don't find it search for order details and you just drag and drop it here so this order detail widget will include the amount and some other details, the date of our order, the order number, total amount, and also payment method. Once we do this, now we are done with setting up our sales funnel. Now, as you can see, again, this sales funnel can be used to sell any type of products. I'm here selling my ebook, but you can set up this to, uh, uh, to sell your online courses, memberships, Workshops, for example, if you want to sell your online courses, you can connect WooCommerce with another plugin such as Lendash or TutorLMS, and then you can use this sales funnel to sell these uh, uh, online courses. As you can see, also the checkout page is customized. I mean, the default uh, WooCommerce checkout experience is not that good, and also it makes some issues for the people who are checking out, but with this custom checkout page, you can have more sales coming your own way. What we need now is to do is, what we need to do now is to test this uh, sales funnel. So let me open this sales funnel in Cognito mode. So this is the landing page. Let's click get the book button here. We should be redirected into the checkout page. This is our checkout page. As you can see, we have our order bump here. Now the total amount of this order is 27. If we click here, you'll find that the total amount has changed into 30 because I have chosen to buy my order bump. Then let me just quickly add a few billing details here. And then let me click place order. I should be redirected now into the thank you page. And here we go, I'm redirected into the thank you page. As you can see, this is a very simple and basic sales funnel. I, I'm quite sure that you can definitely set up this during one hour, maximum two hours after watching the video. And this is how easy you can set up a sales funnel using WordPress with 
free plugins as well hopefully you find this video helpful if you liked it please give me a thumbs up and a like and also please consider to subscribe to my youtube channel because i create three videos a week to help you create better wordpress websites now thank you so much and see you in the next video